Okay, just allow me to start things off by giving you the good news. And the good news is, indeed, the enemy Satan has no power. You have all the power over him through Christ Jesus. But then again, what the, the question that comes next is, why is there still chaos? I'm, I'm sure that at some point you ask yourself a question that, you know what, I was sick. I never got healed. The devil did this. And I... listen very well here. I don't know, ever had a saying that goes like, this battle is not about the toughest, the strongest, but about the smartest. Satan uses this in order to overcome Christians. He thinks. That is why at the end of the day, you will realize what he does to us as Christians, the way he challenges us. It's not a matter of striking at a moment, but he is capable of making us kill ourselves, destroy ourselves using our own weapons. To make this more clear, he can see an anointed Christian or a man of God for that matter, who has the anointing to speak things and they come to pass. So with that, knowing so well that he himself cannot curse a Christian and they be cursed, he'd be like, but this guy he has the authority given by Christ Jesus. If I can make him to curse his fellow brother in Christ, that person will indeed be cursed. So he makes sure he sneaks up until a point where he catches the person. Remember, the gifts of God are not revocable. So he makes sure that he enters that person so that they can get angry and start cursing their brothers and harm. You got what I'm saying? So this is it. And I want to tell you that he plans ahead of time. Satan is capable of making a person mess up their lives so that by the time they are about to get married, when she meets the right guy, her past begins to resurface. She took videos, uh, sex tapes, for example, and by the time a man sees her, wow, she's, they bring up the past so that he can discourage and not because there was, it was no time for marriage, but the enemy uses the past. So you must be careful what you do today because Satan is capable of using it against you tomorrow. And to a person, he will make sure he makes the person take it personal to an extent where they decide that, you know what, I can't do this. I did not know this about you. That is why I pray for you right now. May the Lord protect you from everything that the enemy is planning ahead of time. And also... Be careful of what you do today because that can be the reason things don't work out in the future. Let the Lord be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.